I'm Nick Pomeroy with PR Equipment here in Kearns, Texas. Hey, if you've watched any of our videos, you know that we really like to test things and confirm things and verify things, and today's no different. Um, this, we're, we're a, a big Massey Ferguson and Yanmar dealer and things, but one of the things we like to do, and, and this is basically to test the hydraulic systems. Uh, it's important to know what our system is capable of um, and maybe what it can do. And so one spec you really don't find very many places or anywhere in, to my knowledge is we know what the tractor can produce as far as hydraulic flow goes, but what do we actually get to the third function? It's worth noting that this is not the Massey Ferguson OEM version and we'll test that when we get a chance, but this is actually a, an aftermarket live third valve. So this is a live third function valve. And the reason why this one, we, we definitely want to go with a live third function valve is because this, this tractor will be running uh, some hydraulic motors and we want the, the ability to reverse those and to do all three functions at once. Um, so we'll, uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna start the tractor, but we need to know how much flow this is. So why this is important is maybe you're specking out a, you know, a front mounted mower or, or you're, you're specking out a, a hydraulic auger and all of them have flow specs and they want to know you know how much flow does your tractor have so you know what size of auger what size of attachment to get um, and so it's important to know that but there's a lot of hoses and fittings and valves and couplers and things that this hydraulic oil has to flow through so we're really interested to know how much do we actually get to the flow meter i'm going to fire it up we're going to check it at idle and we're also going to check it at a uh, full or where it's supposed to be uh, rated at which i think is 2000 rpms one unique thing about this, we actually wired in a separate rocker switch uh, to allow you to continuously engage this for, for longer durations of third function flow. Uh, but let's check this thing out and see what it can do. So right now I've got it at idle. As you can see by our flow meter, we've got just under five gallons a minute. We don't expect a lot of flow at idle though, and you've probably noticed that on your tractor. At idle, things work slower. I'm gonna go ahead and ramp it up to 2000 RPMs. Let's see what we get. So at 2,000 RPMs, we're a little shy of, of 10, maybe 8, 9 gallons a minute. So right now we're at the top end of the green range. Uh, so this is a safe RPM to run the tractor at. And we're getting just a hair under 10 gallons a minute. So because I have no idea if you could hear any of that audio, I just want to summarize our findings. At idle, we were roughly five gallons a minute. Um, at 2,000 RPMs, which is the rated flow, where the tractor's supposed to be doing 10.5 or so gallons a minute, something like that, we were getting about eight or maybe eight and a half gallons a minute was what we were seeing up to the front. Um, that's important to know because you can kind of see the loss that comes from running through all these hoses and the fittings and things like that. And then it, at max, max optimum working range, which I think is 2,300, 2,400, 2,300-ish RPMs, that's the maximum safe working range for this tractor. Um, is, it's not, I guess, not max throttle, but it's the maximum safe working range. But we're going to be at 10 gallons a minute, which is really what we were hoping to get. Uh, so this is going to work out good for what we're going to do with it. But we wanted you to know what you guys are cap what, what your tractor is capable of with, like I say, a live third. It's an aftermarket WR long valve. Um, if y'all need a third function kit, get a hold of us. We'll get you one. Uh, we keep them on the shelf. But like I say, the live third, the stock 2606, we're getting 10 gallons a minute maximum flow. So if you guys are out shopping for implements, now you know how much flow you have to work with up front. If y'all have any questions or you need to be you need a dealer, maybe you need an implement, maybe you need a tractor, we want to be that dealer. Uh, check us out online, www.prequipmentsales.com. Uh, subscribe to us on Facebook. 
check us out on YouTube. Um, we, we have lots and lots of videos testing all sorts of things like this. And so if you guys are in, into stuff like this, we're always doing more and more stuff like this. So uh, thanks, y'all.